Google Chrome recently released an update to where sites served over HTTP now get this not secure banner, which nobody wants to see. So in this short tutorial, we're going to cover how to use Let's Encrypt to secure your websites using Nginx. If you're unfamiliar with Let's Encrypt, it's an organization that serves up certificates for free and has automated tools around it so that the entire web can be served over HTTPS and we can have secure connections. There's an associated tool called CertBot that we're going to use that actually has its own instructions for setting up things in an automatic fashion for most types of web servers, especially Nginx in this case. So we're going to take the notes application that I used in a previous tutorial, and I'm going to show you how to utilize CertBot to spin this up with auto-renewing SSL certificates. I'm currently SSH'd onto the machine that's running Nginx, and I'm going to use sudo yum install and I need to get the EPL release so that I can install the package that I want to use for CertBot specifically. From here, I'm going to also sudo yum install that package, which is going to be python2 certbot nginx. With CertBot installed, we're actually only a few commands away from having SSL on this machine already. The first one that we need to run is going to be sudo certbot. And then we're going to give it the nginx flag to specify that we're running with nginx and it can go and make its own modifications for that. We're gonna give it the dash D flag so it knows what domains to work off of, which is gonna be notes.keytops.com in this case. And when we hit enter, it's going to ask us for an email address so that we can verify some things. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Linux Academy email address. And then from here, we have to agree to the terms of service, which is fine. And are we willing to share our email? In this case, I am. What this is actually going to do is it's going to add a small path that it can render from the Let's Encrypt certificate authority is going to verify that that path is installed and that we actually do control this domain. And then from there, it's going to give us some more choices. So we can choose whether or not we want it to modify our configuration, and we can also specify it to automatically redirect to HTTPS for all requests. This is a great option, and we're going to use that now. So I'm going to hit two and enter. And just like that, we should be good to go. If we head back over to Chrome where we're seeing the not secure and we refresh this, it's going to promptly request the HTTP version and then redirect us back over to HTTPS. We get the secure lock here and our users can feel a little bit more safe about using our website. We're not quite done yet. The small catch, if you will, to having free SSL certificates is that they're just short term. They renew every 90 days, but CertBot, in addition to being able to automate us actually setting up our web server and modifying the configuration with this, we can go ahead and get it to auto renew this and then restart our web server when it's done. We're going to need to make one modification to the configuration for this. So we're going to use sudo vim etsy sysconfig certbot. And then in here, there's going to be a post hook option that we want to change to match this. We're going to do post hook. And then in single parentheses, system CTL reload nginx. And this is just going to say after something has been updated, we want it to go and trigger a reload for nginx. We can save and quit. The EPL release version of CertBot that is shipped also comes with a systemd timer and service so that it can automatically check a few times a day to see if the certificates do need renewed. And if they do, it's going to automatically go and do that. So we can use systemctl start CertBot renew.service and CertBot CertBot renew timer. Then we'll do the same thing with enable. And now that that's completed, the SSL certificate for our website will auto renew. So we don't have to worry about forgetting to renew it and not being able to serve our website. I really hope that you enjoyed this short tutorial. And if you want to learn more about Nginx and deploying on Linux systems, then head over to linuxacademy.com and you can check out the Nginx web server deep dive to learn how you can do some more fine tuning configurations for your Nginx deployments.